USF on Lake. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, come back to the new USF on Lake. And we're Ladies live, by and the gentlemen. way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Midwest F1 League. I am your co-host, Stat, here with Crash, and we are here at the Hungara Ring. Uh, Hungary, Hungary GP? Hungary? Hungary? Hungarian. Same, th same thing. It's Hungarian yeah. Grand Prix. That We'll go with that one. Yeah, you're, you're uh, on it today. So how we, how we feeling today, Crash? Uh, I'm excited. I'm actually a, I'm a big fan of this track. Um, be it that it's not a track for plenty of passing around the course, but it I, I just am a fan of this track. I really enjoy the way it all flows. So I'm looking yeah, forward to a, a very, good race today. It's, it's, it seems to be a very flowy track. But mm -hmm. uh, you re a track that you really need to find a good groove in, or else the, the track's going to literally throw you out. Yes, for there's, sure. There's and... a lot, lot of instances where corners, especially that are that long right-hander with the, the huge inside curb, you touch that at all, it's spitting you out into the gravel trap. For sure. It's, uh, it's with a couple, as the guys were saying in the chat earlier, a couple of those... Um, those uh, concrete corners, I guess you can say, can really throw you out for a loop there. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's just in turn two, and I believe another one in turn five there. If you just kind of get a little bit too um, bold, I guess we can say, going into those corners, then it'll, it'll smack you right down and spin you right out. Oh, definitely. So qualifying is just beginning, as the first sort of cars are just coming out. With uh, the Haas of Smokemon to lead those. So who are we feeling? Uh, who, do you, who do you think is a has a lot of confidence coming into this track? Who who's feeling really good heading into this this uh, this weekend? Um. Ooh. I'm gonna go with Sirius. I know Kenny's due, but I. I Serious, random serious as well is also kind of due for that uh, first race win. So I'm, I'm feeling that uh, that Red Bull today. I feel, it's almost like everyone in that top pack is due at this point. Very true. Very true. It, it seems that way. It's just seemed that uh, every time one of, well, particularly random serious and Kenny have been at the point where they can take the top spot. Something, something's gotten their way, and I think Brian Moss has taken advantage both times. For sure. Uh, now, to also clarify, Clogwonger did pick up a qualifying ban, so we will not be seeing him release... Oh, as he is released in the garage, he must have forgotten. He's going to pick up another ban, unfortunately, as it seems that he must have forgotten that, as he is supposed to be well, serving so, a qualifying ban As long ban as he today. doesn't set a time... Yeah, but he's he's going around. He, yeah, he may just be going around and into the pit. I guess he he can go all the way around and then which will start his timed lap. Oh, he's he's locking in his setup. Yeah, completely fair. So yeah, he won't be setting a time. But exactly that. He's just going around just to go back into the pits. Okay, so completely fair by him. Fair play. That's all right. That's all right. Locking his setup. I should probably get all my broadcasting thing up on my screen. Oh, and okay, yeah. He was just confirming a setup, and then he just retired from the session. <laughs> I got a little excited there. I thought that was gonna. I thought someone crashed already, but nope. We see random serious. Like I said, my prediction going purple through sector two. Like. Well, it's easy to go purple through sector two. Yeah. Well, at he this still, point. He still did it though. Spokemon coming around the final corner will set the first timed lap as he goes at 116.0. Random Series comes behind with a 115.9. So Random Series taking the provisional pole. See Barry comes in 16.1. No Ganada with a 17.5. Some of the cars are just starting to put in some good times so far. So we have Enrique set a 17-3.
We've got Greg with a 120. Garrus with a 17-3. Nicky with a 17-1. Good to see him qualifying. Nicky also on the medium tyre, so... As Camp goes quickest with a 15-3. So that's... That's a big, uh... Big jump. There. For Cam. As uh, Racing Ginger sets a 19-1. And Helg sets a 15-9. Five hundredths behind Sirius and P2. So I think this is the earliest oh, we've had... Oh, uh, Bloxham coming over the line, sorry. In second place on medium tires there with a 15-6. Oh. 15-6, as we Nearly have 15, someone 7. spun out one of the the um, racing points. That's the Garris Vac, who's actually, which we didn't mention a little earlier here, coming in for his first race of uh, taking over the seat of Tim Lee in the racing point. Garris Vac is now the full-time driver for the racing point. You, I get, you can kind of consider him the secondary driver behind JC, as JC has kind of split himself up into that top tier of the pack. Seeing a, some stuff from Garris Vac, he shows he does have some pace, but JC is one of the quicker drivers of this grid. So JC's got something so, uh, to prove for himself here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Brian Moss has just set a 15-6, so that gets him into second. Mm -hmm. But also on the softs, while Bloxham is on the mediums. Racing Ginger also on the mediums, and Nikki also on the mediums so far. So now the, the drivers this past week, and if there's any position changes, cut me off there, partner, but there were, the drivers were asked this uh, week on uh, whom they think will be the first person to get a win that isn't named Cam or Brian Mosser. And a lot of guys came back with, of course, Kenny and JC. And then we had a couple of dark horse picks with C. Barry. But most people going to Kenny, and, and random series here and there, as that is my kind of pick. But it seems the uh, the main two were um, Kenny and JC, as they seem to be a couple of guys who should be getting a race win sometime soon here. And the I big do, dark horse I being believe, scary. I do believe JC was actually first place at one point, mm -hmm. but uh, but ended up getting pushed back due to time penalties. Yes. And this is actually the good. Uh, is this the good guy Greg's first race? Yes, he has taken yes. over that Ferrari seat full time now. So I, I guess that is his yes. first race. As Monkey Mafia was yeah, filling in be. for him for a couple of races there. Yeah, this will be his first race. It's going to be two, two new starters with Good Guy Greg and um, Garris here. Mm. So good to see them onto the grid. Uh, they did not drive in Series 2 as they were unavailable. So um, for... The, for most recently, we've offered uh, seats to those who can only make Thursday nights. Mm, yes. And also, the uh, the drivers were also kind of asked for their thoughts on the Hungaro ring. It was kind of a very mixed um, set of answers there. A couple saying that Sector 3 is the hit their killer, some saying Sector 2. Um, but also, the final question was the poll question, and it being a little bit more of a... Um, uh, a fun one this week, I guess we can say. As uh, the question was, with having zero knowledge of the look of Stat, Crash, and Tim Lee, who do you think is the most handsome? And not to my liking, I came dead last, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I found that I just, in the end there, I got some a couple of pity votes from Kenny and the Garris back. Stat, of course, came second, and Tim Lee, uh, no surprise about it, came first. Uh defeating you by a couple of votes but oh it seems that we do have a we had a racing point off there but I think he's just pulled off and be the best pawns or no it was the Garris Vac speaking of but we try to keep it serious here of the Midwest F1 League but we, this, we understand that what this league is, and we have fun with it in the end, for sure. Oh yeah, tons of fun here. 
Clog stepping into the chat saying the Aussie accent and sexy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god, come on. I thought everyone likes Canadians. You're looking like an Ashilla. <laughs> oh, see, Barry goes second there. Cam has set the fastest lap on mediums. How long has that been up there for? Wait, what? Who? Cam, he's got the fastest lap. Or no, he's on mediums right now. No, he's on oh, my, my, Yeah, my, he's on mediums now. See, Barry goes second. It's, it's as still Renault a 15 goes. Three with his softs. With the softs, sorry, yes. So we can halfway through and we currently have a Renault front row lockout. Yes, yeah, sorry, okay, now I've got best lap going on here. So you can see MX Bloxham is now fourth, is fourth currently with the medium tires, which is very impressive being on that tread. Kenny and Mahi yet to set a time. I think Mahi's going to leave it to the last second as Brian Mossa sets the quickest lap with a 15 1. So Brian's Mickey. showing his pace here again. No Grenader on an invalid. Mike one sets a fastest sector two. Pushing Ginger as well. Oh, there we go. Amex Blossom going. Goes, oh, with a 14-4. Smashes <laughs> it by seven tenths. I think Bloxham was hearing us saying that no one picked him to get a race win there. So you got a little bit pissed. Smokemon going fifth now. Aston looking pretty solid in that Williams in sixth. Wow. Pork chops, unfortunately, not improving on that lap. Cam will most likely not improve on his either. So Cam comes into the pits. Imagine. Yes. No Ganator coming around in mediums, but he goes into the pit as well. I think that's the best pawns. <coughs> oh, as Random Series invalidates his lap after being four tenths down in the first sector. Uh, we currently have a. Ooh, there was a McLaren stuck on turn five. That's an absolute killer lap from MX blocks them though. What he got out here? Racing Ginger, he's probably gonna go into the pit. Yeah, he goes really wide. Pork Chops is going into the pit. Everyone seems to be pitting once more before they give it one more old college try. Yes. To the pit as well. Gears back is on his outlap currently. Oh, we seem to have someone off in Sector 2 there. That was the... I think it was the Alfa Romeo. I'm not sure if he totally got off. He was parked on track there for a bit. Oh, can you send the best pawns a, an invite there? He says that he's yes, got kicked. Yes, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to find him. Wait, what's his PSN name? It's not the best pawns, is it? Yeah, it's just the best pawns. Later. As thank you everyone for tuning in so far today. Right now we're seeing a little bit of a dark horse come in with MX Blocks. I'm getting the provisional pull as it sits right now going nearly seven tenths or yeah seven tenths full quicker than the championship leader of Brian Mosser. Who do we have there? I believe that's just Outlap, Smoke Mon Outlap. Astonic is currently on a fast lap, as I believe Cam is as well. 
Cam is as well. Seabury's going for an outlap. We have a Williams there. <coughs> is that it's heavy in the front? No, it isn't. Cam currently two tenths better. Asnick six tenths under from his initial time set. Unfortunately, I've got the fastest lot stuck on my screen there. Asnick went six tenths quicker on his final lap, but didn't want to ride that one out as he goes into the pits. Oddly enough. Who do you have as the next person come over the line? Is the Garris back there? I believe it is. Uh, uh, he's five tenths slower, though. Who's that? Cam is coming around the final corner. Oh, he's seven here. tenths quicker here. Right on board. Very clean line. Does Cam go second? Oh, oh just point. loses out six, six thousand. thousand. Incredible. No That's way. rough. He he's got to be feel heartbroken right now. Easy crushed that lap. Huge lap by Cam, but blocks him. Still able to take the edge in the end. Blocks him must be hugely happy with his. As I think, believe a lot of cars See, are just coming out. For, See Barry uh, just leapfrog Monster, but then Monster just took him right back over. That's funny to see. See Barry and Monster six. both improving on their times, but uh, staying in the same spot after all is said and done. Random Sirius and another invalid. I think Helga's just started his fastest lap. Smoke Wand's on an invalid, so he's going to have to go once more around the track. So this is the Garrus back. He's 5 tenths slower here, so he won't be improving. I believe that's Cam just right behind him. Ooh, as we have a Williams off. Hitting the wall. Ooh. It's heavy and Kenny colliding. Right before turn four. I saw that just as it happened, but I'm not sure how it led to that. Mahi just sets a late time there. Noganator goes a second and a half slower. Kenny hasn't set a lap. Oh, Hell coming, coming over now? the line. Goes a quarter of a second quicker. Kenny will have one time. Oh, it's, no, Kenny goes fourth fastest in one lap. So Kenny now fourth. Pushing C. Barry down the grid there. Smoke on an invalid, so he'll have to go around once more as this is his last shot to improve on that position of sixth. So Mahi might be able to set one more lap if he continues this run now. But he just set a time off on those sides too. So will Mahi settle for theoretically nine? Mm. Oh, Random sorry, series takes place. off eight tenths and jumping well, up to Mahi. sixth place now. Mahi will go for one lap. He's two seconds faster than his initial time there. That's Noganator. But Noganator. On Noganator, I believe, jumping up above Enrique there. Helg is into the chop is riding four lap. Or no, sorry, he's going on some mediums there, seeing if he can improve on his time a little bit as he hasn't set a sheer blistering pace of one qualifying record yet as he comes Mahi over the line and goes slower one better oh it's Mahi tangles with turn five very into the pit we see it kind of ending now I think that's the best pawns as well can he we got Nikki just in behind. Mahi Nikki. currently 2.6 faster so far. 
Asnik coming over and can improve his time as well and will now go into seventh place above Smoke Vaughn. On with Mahi. Mahi goes 17th. As, so yeah, that is everyone. it. So pretty solid qualifying Easy. session. A nice little surprise seeing blocks him up on pole. Do you think he can hold that? Yeah, I definitely think if he can get a good start and he can just get into a groove without trying to, without picking up a lot of penalties like he's sometimes prone to, I think he, I think he can do it. Mm. But he will have the two current race winners of Cam and Brian behind him. Well, he's got one, two, three in the driver's standing all right, right behind him. Yeah, that too. Is that if you do follow us on our Twitter page, which I will link into the into the chat here, you can check up on all of our uh, race schedules and race finishes and standings and whatnot to catch up and keep you up to date on what is going on in the Midwest F1 League. A good showing from the Haas though, getting two drivers in the top 10. As the Haas just recently in the Constructors' Championship jumped up above the Ferraris for 8th place last week. The Alfa Romeo has made up two spots going from 4th to 2nd, still trailing behind those silver arrows, I guess black arrowheads of the Mercedes. And a couple of jumbling here and there. McLaren seemed to be steady at seventh place and are content with that position throughout the year. Looking for a little couple of uh, more solid finishes. If we had some uh, crashes out in uh, races prior, you're not collecting any points. Would you like to run down the grid there, partner, or shall I? Uh, so we have Bloxham taking pole position here at the Hungara ring, followed by Cam sitting beside him. We then have uh, Brian and Kenny together, Barry, Sirius, Astonik, Smokemon, Helg, Noganator, Enrique and Pons, Heavy and Nicky, Garrus and Pork, Mahi and Racing Ginger, and then finally Good Guy Greg and Clog Monger as Heavy will actually pick up a five-place penalty, and I believe so does Kenny, so they will drop down um, five places each. Unless it's only Heavy mm, that's refused. No, it's just only Heavy. Kenny seemed to have survived oh, that. Yeah. So a Heavy will drop down from 13th to 18th. As we have the cars currently gridding up, and uh, I will leave the start to you, Crash. Oh, why, well, thank you very much, sir, partner. I'll see what I can do with this one today. Hopefully, I can get smooth and not trip over my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's hope for a, a non safety car first lap, or first corner. Let's hope yeah, we can I, get one of them. It, I think we're getting better as the year goes on. I, I mean, <coughs> we've got. Um, you know, it it happens every now and then, but um, hopefully I, I've got a I've got a. Uh, shoot, I want to say I have a good feeling, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> but here at the Midwest at commentary boost, we're dead serious. We're dead serious, and we are very much in for the commentator's curse, as, like I said earlier. Oh, well, I'll get to that later as we are growing up on our five lights and now we have hit all five lights and they are about to go out and they go out now and we see the drivers get off pretty solidly. Nothing real crazy going on in the back here. Every Oh, yeah, we do see a little bit of a wing damage. MX blocks him, actually loses oh. out and there we go! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! We see all four drivers collide and pinch and slam into the walls. We see Cam now out of the session. We see penalties galore being handed out. See Barry and Smokemon seem to have survived that whole ordeal. 
and as does MX Bloxham, but he is without a wing, and a safety car is deployed. Oh my goodness gracious, I had an absolutely beautiful view of that. That was the perfect cam for that first incident. That's, that's Singapore 2017 written all over it. Wow! So for those, for those who, who, wasn't, who weren't really watching that properly, it's like, Bloxham didn't have a good start. Cam and Brian both came around the side of Bloxham there. And then Cam was trying to, trying to pinch to try and uh, create some space. And he's ended up thro throwing over the front of Bloxham into Brian, which has hit Brian back into the two of them. And then Kenny, who's just an innocent bystander on the on the inside, got collected with that. Ah, uh, you need to invite the best pawns quick if you can there. Ah, uh, yes. As I'd imagine we're going to see some cars go into the pit here. It's an maximum for sure go into the pit as I'll jump on him quick. And you can see that he has got absolutely zero front wing. Random Sirius also opting for the pit. Brian Mosser back down to the 13th into the pit and as is Kenny as we're gonna see like four out of the five quickest drivers on this track so far in the back of the pack and with this being a track where you can't pass this race is wide open for everyone up on the top top 10 here well it's interesting to see because the two Haas currently first and third that is, yeah, I, I agree. It's absolutely huge. Noganator and Smokemon getting seven positions, as is the best yeah. pawns. Mahi going nine positions. You, you, you pretty much see massive position gains from everyone, except for Ooh, those two. The Red Bull of Random Series spins out after turn one. Well, He's I mean, if to get up and going again. If you're going to do it anywhere, you might as well do it there. <laughs> it doesn't do look like he's collected any damage, which is good. But, uh, he may have really worn his tires here. He is on the hard, so we may see him take the Kenny approach and just blast those things throughout the whole session. I, I, it's, it's doable, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's doable think, on this track. This track is just think, way too I think it corner gives, oriented. I think the hards give him an option. Yeah, true, it fair. It gives him an option to... He can either try to try his gam gamble his luck, try to stay on the hards the whole race. I don't think it's doable. If it's if it's if he finds the hards are wearing out pretty quick, he can switch onto the mediums if they're lasting quite a bit. He, he might see uh, him jump onto the softs right at the end. Mm -hmm. Totally, it's it's but, just. Uh, um... I believe, <clears throat> but I believe Brian and Sirius and maybe Bloxham are on the mediums at the moment. Yes. As we got Aston are... coming in the pit. See, now we had this issue last night for those who were, did tune in, was that, and Kenny is back into the pit? Is that my re I guess so, he's back into the pit. But we had this issue yesterday where um, some drivers crash out first lap and then instantly change from what we were doing was the F2 race yesterday, changed from the super softs to the softs, and then ran the rest of the 19 laps on those softs. And then once they complete, completed and were going on to that 20th lap, they got black flagged for not using a second tire compound. Is even though you do start, like say in a situation like this, is Kenny did start on these softs, he he is going to have to actually pit again, thinking about this right now. he All these guys are going to have to pit again. As that one initial lap coming into the pit isn't one complete lap. So they will have to use a second tire compound. That if you true. stuck, if you stuck with me through all of that rambling and and whatnot, <laughs> so it, everyone that you see in the back of the pack here, who has technically pitted, will need to pit. Other than I believe Asenik, because he did actually go around the track yeah, once he before did complete pitting. One lap. But he is only on the mediums. So, so C Barry is still currently uh, holding up, holding up the uh, the Renault uh, banner. As the safety car will be in this lap, so Smokemon, in his second race, will, uh, will lead the pack into lap four. Getting a last little bit of tyre. 
into him. Now it'd be interesting to see here, Mahi Mahi and Enrique, the two Alfa Romeos, are on the softs. In front of them is the both racing points on the mediums here. I'm going to try and stick with that. Smoke one with a good little lead coming out of turn, the last turn. No grenade right on the back of seat, Barry. It's the two, two racing points come down the hill. There you go, Mahi Mahi already good did little, take a lunge. Good little battle at the back between Asnik, Sirius, and Brian. And Kenny, Kenny swoops in. Good little battle here at the back of the pack. Oh, as Brian does a switch back on good guy Greg. It'll be interesting to see how fast uh, Kenny, Mossa, and Sirius bring themselves back up the field. And if they're able to give themselves a real big boost. So Mahi, Mahi has already dispatched the Garris back. MX picking up a penalty. There's so many penalties early, but I didn't, I'm not going to bother to clock them as I'd imagine they're all going to be served. Yes. Looks like... Ooh, the MX... Racing Ginger is taken over by MX and Aztec. Oh, and what do we have? Was that Kenny? Kenny and Random Sirius got into it and smashed into the wall, and now Random Sirius is out of this session. Racing and Ginger. And now we have another safety car. And another safety car, as these guys in the back of the pack are really trying to make up this ground. You're going to see Random Sirius get a whole new front end on that car. Kenny's coming well, in no, as random, well. Random Sirius is or, out of the race. Or sorry, sorry, Racing Ginger's Racing teammate. Ginger. I got the wrong. As Kenny also comes back into the pits. You know what? My prediction was so close to coming right today. Of having Random Sirius win this. Okay, everyone, all the viewers, it's another safety car in the Midwest F1 League. Take a drink. If you're like me, you're properly smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and if you're like me in Australia, you probably woke up not too long ago. Yeah. Then you're on your seventh cup of coffee. As Racing Ginger will have a nice little Sunday drive here, catching up to the pack. Or Thursday drive or Friday drive if you're in Australia, catching up to the pack here. I think we'll only have a safety car for about two laps here. But why we do, I might as well give you a little bit of information on this gorgeous, lovely Hungaro ring that we are today. Um, it is a 4.381 kilometer circuit, a 2.722 mile circuit, total of 14 lefts. Eight of those being rights and six of them being lefts. A one DRS zone and speed trap going down the pretty much a single true straight there. I guess that one in sector three as well. But the single straight coming into turn one is your real passing point. You have a little bit of options throughout the track, but that is your main go. The DRS detection zone, you can see it on your screens there. Right beside the three indicate sector three. So with that being said, it's kind of a I, I find it to be a fun track, a very tough track, and as you can see, a very tight track as all these cars are getting right up in each other and are clipping and sending each other for a little bit of trips here. Yeah, we've seen a little bit of uh, people tripping over each other's feet at the moment. For sure. It's I not believe the this widest track. It, it'd be interesting to find a stat on how many uh, lap one safety cars we've had in a row. Very true. Uh, Vietnam was Vietnam was a little bit of chaos as well as that was the second race of the year. If someone could uh, go back and get that stat for us, that would be uh, would be amazing. As uh, we currently can't go back and do it. Check out these drivers' championships. Here is um, this is going to make Mo the life of Mosser a lot easier. And can you send the best pawns a, an invite as well? There. 
another one? Yeah. As Not a problem. <laughs> Mosser is currently leading with 314, followed by Kenny of 260. Um, and Cam and then Random Sirius is 3 and 4 are out of the session, so the only real one to make up some ground today will be Kenny. But unfortunately right now he's found himself two positions back of Mosser. As we go green, we're back at it. Mahi Mahi taking a lunge at the best pawns bot there as he is getting an invite back into this session. He has uh, joined back. And it's still reading a bot, but the best pawns is bot actually gave him a lovely switch back there. Pierre's back actually going through the teammate of the best pawns. Two racing points right on each other's tail. Gears back going a little and bit of with a Enrique bit deep there. right on his with Nikki. So currently have smoke on by smoke on from Barry, from No Ganada, from Mahi, from Pons, from Garris, from Enrique, from from Nikki, from Heavy, from Clog. From Pork, from MX Blocks, um, from Kenny, from Mossa. Yeah, Kenny's found a found a way to get past him. But from Astonic, from Ginger, from Held, from Good Guy Greg holding up the back. As you say, Kenny, him and Mosser go wheel to wheel coming through turn 14 here. Mosser will get the inside line. Kenny's gonna have to ride the outside, but Pork Chops is also in front of Mosser there. Both keeping it very, very clean there. Some solid racing. Mossa will get the slipstream from Pork. Astonic got a really As good jump Astonic. out of there. Going right on the inside of Mosser now. Right tight on the back of Pork Chops. A good little battle here. Some solid racing there. As Astonic switches back to the inside. As Pork try to go around the outside, sticks it. Safety car again, Seabury's oh, crashed. Seabury and Porkchops is out as well. As that was all happening, Porkchops lost it into the wall. Seabury, unfortunately, Thanks. no points for the Renaults tonight. Seabury lost it out of turn four. As we have four cars who have bit the dust, I guess you can say. As it was that was some awesome driving though. I loved that. That was some great yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was great watching. That was some really solid stuff. That was between Kenny Mosser, Asnick, and unfortunately Pork Chops got the worst part of that. But if you have tuned into the F1 league, you do know that after the first couple of laps, when everyone says. Everyone gets out there, crashes and whatnot. The race settles down. Oh, we see. Oh, we see both hosses pitting right now. Did they double stack? They did double stack. It didn't I? Oh, I that's couldn't. Gonna, that's gonna knock no grenade down. I couldn't tell if he got oh, held it is up. Is a safety car? It is a safety car, but that does slow him down a little bit. He should be able to catch up. He did lose his position out to Mahi, though. Noganator was sitting third there. It was Seabury second. Mahi, I believe, was fourth or fifth and has now lost out, or has now gained a position to Noganator from that double stack from the Hosses. Well, let's see how many, hopefully I don't run through all of my notes here today. But what I can say is that Kenny, who still has a chance to keep it going, has podium five of the last six races, and I believe he is on a three 
um, three podium streak. As going back, he did almost have his win at Monza, a third place, excuse me, in Zandvoort, and a second place in Japan, and unfortunately was not there for the Monacan Grand Prix. So he has he's on the three um, three race podium streak. So I'm looking to make it four here today, and hopefully a win. But it, that's a lot of work ahead of him. Uh, Smokebon into the pits once again after freshly going on to mediums. I'd like to see what he's doing here. He's throwing on hards. So he must have made some sort of mistake throwing on those mediums. He is serving his time penalty though. As this whole thing settles down, you missed a, a lot of stuff here, JC. You missed a lot of stuff. And yeah, the safety car must have a lot of fuel there, Jacko, as he has been asked to come out quite a few times. I think they're on their, their second tank of fuel. Yeah, the we safety car will need to go go in for a pit stop pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, he's good. his tires are starting to wear out. Might, might have to switch onto the hards. Yeah, he's on what? He's on lap eight now or something like that. Yeah, every, almost every lap has been done by the safety car. Hey, you know what? We keep it we keep it entertaining here, Justin. We we truly do. These guys know how to give you an entertaining product, and that is something that we cannot deny. As that first that first turn was something special, but as it stands right that, now, the that best. Was, yeah, go. That was seen straight out of Singapore 2017. Oh, that was that was some fun stuff. That was that was straight Ferraris and Max Verstappen. We are back live. Nikki seemed to have got a pretty good run. Oh, Bloxham has... Sorry, Brian has a really good run on Bloxham heading it down into turn one. But nothing will happen as Kenny will fight Astonic and gets... Oh, no, Clog. Clog is fighting a Tevi. Never mind. Nikki actually overtook the Garris back fairly oh, early there. Oh, Bloxham and Heavy collide, but no damage. Come around turn three together. Right Neither are wheels. Oh, there we go. It's heavy. Does get up that position. Bloxham still has a very good shot at, oh, at winning here. Brian goes down the inside and hits heavy and spins out at turn five. Massa spun out at turn five, so he will be at the back of the grid. Went for a very ambitious move on. It's heavy hitting into. Turn five and spins himself out. Racing Ginger picking up a three second penalty. As with all these crashes, you haven't seen too many penalties actually dished out here. As with 16 drivers left here, this this race is still very much wide open. And Brian Mosser picks himself up. He can have a shot to get some solid points here today. So uh, the best pond's currently leading this race at the moment. So, something he's not too used to at the moment in Series 2, but it's good to see him up into uh, the podium places for now. I think uh, Pons was expecting us to, when, if, when we mention his name today, I think he's expecting us to be uh, saying how uh, he spun out into the wall. So I, I believe he must be extremely happy with how he's, uh, how he's ended up so far in this race. Especially with his uh, teammates sitting in uh, P3 as well. Now I've actually got the best bonds. You can see if you're in Garris back here, he's... Whoa! He is getting... Oh, who do we lose? We just lost Racing Ginger there in Sector Ginger, 2. out of turn 4. As we have a virtual safety car. As things will slow down but not truly back up here. As we'll see if the Noganator is able to see Racing Ginger there. 
lucky number five out today. Just around turn four. No, we won't as this car is off the set track. So we see some new names up at the top here. Yeah, that's true. They had to virtual safety car it because <laughs> the safety car is in the pit right now. <laughs> <sighs> that I'm not. I, I can't steal that one. That one's J C Blackley's. Whoa, Clogmonger getting right tight up on the back of Garris back there. As VRS does end, so we have back racing. Now, these are like quote-unquote 12-lap old tires here from the lead pack, but they're kind of not because it's been virtually eight, nine laps of safety car. Eight laps of safety car and four laps of true racing. Nicky's going to look to dispatch the bot of the best pawns, uh, as he needs an invite if you can send him one. Pawns again. Yes. Okay, as he's currently leading this got. race, but he's not even in the race. Which is just... Just absolute chaos, as Noganator picks up a three second penalty. Stats dogs come to say hello. Nikki with DRS and some solid overtake should get a clean pass on the best pawns. Best pawns not giving up, or the maybe the bot of the best pawns. Yes, it is still the bot of the best pawns not giving up. Clogmonger overtook the Garris back, as you can see in the back of your screen there. Blocks him looking blocks at the inside. The inside as well. Ooh, and shoots it. A little, Ooh. A little bit of a touch. As Kenny also on the back of them. We're seeing some There's real tight racing it's a, it's here. It's a tight pack here from sec second to sixth. As Clog goes down the inside. Ooh, MX blocks, blocks him going him from on one grass. side of the track to the other there. Ooh, Kenny's going to take a look at the Garris back here in the chicane, and he will get it. He will take it. Right on the back of Bloxham. Whoa, he gets real tight. Oh, as Bloxham hits the back of Pons, almost oh. spins him out. That slows him right up, though. Bloxham's gonna have to go Bloxham to the pit. Bloxham now comes into the pits. Kenny coming around. He'll he'll have a chase on Pons. Won't get close enough. Ooh, Ooh, he goes he a goes little deep. deep. Ooh, as Astonic has a good run down on Mahi. And he... Oh, Mahi's hanging on around the outside and he makes it hold on. Smoke him on watching them both. Uh, no, I don't believe Kenny has damage there, JC. Oh, his best pod spins oh, out of turn spins five. out. As we see him off the side, oh, oh, quite unfortunate. As Asnik hits the back of, I believe that's Mahi, sending him right through the uh, chicane. As Asnik, I believe now has wing damage, yeah he does. So he'll have to come in for the pits now. Yellow in sector two. This means everything has settled down. Helg's gonna have a pretty decent lunge at Garris Vac here in this straight stretch. Garris Vac seemed to have gotten some better traction. I don't think that gap is tight enough. Actually, he's making up some gnarly time here. Is yeah, he will be able to ta overtake him. As Helg will now jump up position. Ooh, oh, Garris. Garris did a switch back, and it's now a sprint down to turn two. That was a oh, lovely little switch back. 
but I think Helg oh, has a better is, traction now. He's trying his hardest. Oh, he can't make it. No, he won't be able to make that stick. But Astic will have a run down to turn four. Oh, he won't. He won't stick it. That's a very near impossible corner to pass. Ooh, Garris Ooh, back gets up on that concrete Astonic curb a little bit and does overtake the position as now he's going to have to deal with Smokemon for the battle for six. Astonic picking up a penalty. And a picking up a penalty, or a penalty for his troubles. Kenny's now within three tenths of Clog, and he's truly gaming, gaining some time here. Enrique, Smoke, and Garrus in the battle for seat. Garrus goes into the pits. It will just be Enrique and Smokemon having this fight down to turn one. If Smokemon goes wide, and we'll pick up three seconds. He does get DRS. I mean, that's not going to make up three seconds. So Kenny has also taken second place off Clog here. Yeah, he did. Clog kind of gave him up uh, fairly early into that turn. So Kenny will now have the mission of chasing down Nikki, who hasn't been in an incident all day, and Kenny obviously being caught up in that turn one incident. You know, seeing Helix's name there, this could also be a race for him to, to take. That is true. In fourth place... Well, Kenny so far has made up almost an entire s second in time in just half a lap, or majority of a lap even. So Kenny gaining rapidly here. Nicky is well, well starting from 13th, I believe. He's but Clog, starting from last, is currently up in third. That's huge for him. Smokemon also trying to chase down the Williams of Astonic. Turn two. This may be the day for that Kenny victory that he is so close to getting. He's, he's speaking of so close of that first position. He is within a, in second, a second now. So he will get DRS coming into this straight stretch. He's in with a half a second. Can he, Nikki seemed to have got the I better think run the out there. has that straight line speed though. Yeah, Nikki got the better traction. Ooh, Nikki loses a little bit of traction there. Kenny once again will get a DRS coming into turn two. Nikki getting very tight. Kenny kind of taking a little bit of the opposite line and going wide. As we see that gap ever so slightly closing, and while this all happened, Smoke One was able to dispatch Astonic there for fifth place. Ooh, we see Noganator and Amex Bloxham have a nice little battle for 10th place there. It's even Bloxham overtook, but Noganator took a little switch back and was able to keep that position. Oh, Kenny oh. right on the heels of Nikki. As he will take the place. But will Nikki hold on? Nikki's going to get DRS here. And Nikki's just got to keep it close, you know, get DRS and have another chat shot to get back. He's got to... Nikki, Nikki's got the straight line speed. But has Kenny opened up a big enough gap? There we go, Nikki did get a nice little jump out there. 
it seems that he fast enough. Kenny did. Will hold it. He will get started that secondary um, DRS section here. But no, it seems like he, he got a little bit loose there coming through turn two or turn one, and this will give Kenny a shot to open up that gap. Mahi overtook his teammate in Enrique for seventh place. Enrique currently trying to fight that back there. Ooh, blocks MX blocks him, him and Noganator go no wheel to wheel. Noganator not giving in, having the softer tire compound, but blocks him with the fresher tire. We'll make this move stick and we'll hold on to 10th place. As the man who collected pull off qualifying is now in 10th place with nine positions to make up between him and the, his first race win of the year as well. So the gap between Kenny and Nikki is now blown out to about 2.8 seconds now. I will quickly look at if Kenny does have time penalties. But I believe he will have served them. He does have a 5 second penalty from that first incident. Which he will most likely serve in the pits. Just seeing if there's any others. Speaking of pit, his teammate of Clog does opt into the pits and is going to throw on a nice fresh pair of mediums to get him through the rest of this race. Seems I believe Kenny's only only thing is that five second from the start of the race. Um, yeah, Which like you said, I, most likely serve. I'd imagine he's going to be serving that in the pits, like you said. Monster collected 12th place there from the Garris back. Monster unfortunately having a couple of unfortunate races in a row here. As Kenny will be looking to absolutely demol demolish the lead that uh, Monster has. This Kenny would can re Kenny can really take advantage of the position he's in right now. For sure. Can you check got fastest lap quick? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, fastest lap currently is sitting with the Noganator with uh, an 18.6. I he's remember. The only, he's the only driver to be in the 18s so far this race. Okay. I remember seeing that quite a quite a while ago, but... Ooh, is there yeah. we go. We're on board with blocks him here. Claw going right at It's Heavy. Going a little bit deep. We've been seeing a lot of switchbacks into turn one there as it's heavy kind of tried it on Clog, but Clog was able to make that move stick and is now in eighth place with a much fresher medium tire. Blocks him looking to make up another position. Seeing if he can try and find a little bit of an area where that Williams makes a mistake and he can collect ninth place. Not let that gap between him and Clogmonger grow too much. But speaking of a grown gap, Clogmonger now has ten and a half seconds between him and seventh place. But with fresher tires, and presumably Enrique and or Mahi Mahi is going to be pitting once more this race. That gap should ever so close and Clog collecting up those positions. Ooh, MX Bloxham will take a lunge on the inside, but rightfully so opts out. It's heavy did somewhat give him a racing line, but the the room truly wasn't there enough for Bloxham to take over that position. Mahi has really closed that gap to Asnik here for fifth place. Asnik being on the better tire compound for the later laps, he may be able to overtake Asnik.
Ooh, ooh, is that? It's heavy. It's heavy. It was in a battle with blocks, and it seemed, and went off. We're gonna see the Garrus back come through here, but it's heavy. Will be able to keep his position. Blocks him now going into ninth place, but unfortunately, that's what was half a second gap between him and Clogmonger is now grown to three and a half. Him not being able to dispatch it's heavy as soon as he was hoping for. So I believe Mossa currently leads the championship by about 50 points, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just uh, double check. I've got it here actually, it's uh, 54. 54 points. So considering Mossa and Kenny stay where they are. Kenny will pick up 50 points, and Mossa will pick up 12. So that gap of about so a 38 point difference, considering they finish where they are. If it's 40. What do you say? It's 44. They'll now be down to 16 Lee. points. 16 points. I was just pulling so up that, my calculatrice. That, that would be a huge chunk out of Moss's lead. For sure. And that, like I said before, Moss's what seemed to be safe lead has now been ever so shrinking. As there we go, we see Nikki after going 23 laps on those mediums. Ops for the pit. We so may I believe see Kenny him. will need to be doing the same soon. But maybe to a pair of socks. Kenny's crazy like that. He, he I could imagine. I, I have no doubt in my mind that he's thinking that he can go the rest of this race on these softs. He's got. If he's able to, he's used two different tire compounds now. I'd imagine, I think. I believe so. He's got. He's got to survive 10 laps on these things, and he's got a 10 second gap with a guy who's also on 18 lap old tires. It's either he does it now, and he's only a second down from his fastest laps, which is not bad at all being out yeah. so late on these tires. Well, he does have a lead of 10 seconds over Helg at the moment. Exactly. Oh, he getting right tight on Asnik because Asnik lost a little bit of pace there and Mahi went right on the back of him. Best Pons picking up Smoke his first Mon penalty of the way. On Sorry, the quickly, Mahi. Held. Mahi just took a nice little lunge into Asnik, but Asnik will now get DRS going to that straight there. So we'll get on to the back of him. Within Ooh, half a Yeah, real. S or Asnik, not the best release. Mahi instantly jumping to the inside. As Asnik comes around the outside, does he make a stick? Mahi lunges back. Asnik going for it inside, but loses a little traction. Oh, it's a good run to turn two. Oh, Asnik holds line. Seems Mahi will be able to hold that position now. Yes, we also we also have the racing points going at each other down this this front straight. Garris goes straight to the inside. Best Pons has a great launch down the outside. We'll pretty much take straight track position straight away. Oh, wait. As I know, I thought they collided for a second. Best no, Pons, bad traction out of there. Garris runs straight into the back of him. Oh, and now it goes in the inside and completely misses his braking point and goes way past the turn, but will get his position back. As Pons, good run. Noganator just sitting back and watching all this unfold in front of him. He does have the far fresher tires. May be able to dispatch these drivers somewhat quickly here, or at least he'd like to. The gear's back getting a little loose there. Enrique picking up a penalty. Uh, you gotta send the best pawns another penalty, or another invite if you can. JC, choose to follow here, bud. Follow us on Twitch. Oh, Nikki getting fastest lap now, going on those fresh softs. So, Noganator right on the back of the two racing points here. Oh, there Ooh, we go. Noganator. He lunge down the he's outside. looking to trap 
Garris back. Kind of goes for somewhat of a oh, switchback. He, he gets a great launch. Oh, Unfortunately, he's, he's out of battery. Oh, he's, he's not going to get a good run on Ponzo. Oh, he goes for a lunge. Oh, he makes it stick. And will get DRS once again. No good either. Great double pass there. Heading down the front straight. Great from a half driver. That was lovely. He just he he forced racing point or he forced Garris back to get stuck right in behind Best Ponds. who just didn't have the pace. So Nikki is currently oh, sorry, Bloxham is currently trying to chase down and claw the manga as good guy Greg spins out after turn one. Kenny is just coming out of the pits now on fresh super softs and is currently sitting in fourth. So Swiss. will he have now the pace to chase down Mahi, Smoke and Helg through these final couple laps as Nikki sets the fastest lap of this race with an 18-1. Kenny really needs to get a hurry on here if he wants to uh, make up that time. Bloxham's trying to size up Clog here. He's just within a quarter of a second, but not at the part of the track where he can really make a pass as Clog kind of just parks his car in the most perfect position there, forcing Bloxham to either take a chance on that concrete curb or just to just to accept the fact that he's not going to take sixth Kenny place yet. gets a good run on Mahi and will take the position off him. So I think Kenny is feeling pretty good at the moment because Smokemon and Helga are having a good battle around this track now. So I think that will I think Kenny is hoping they take time off each other. As the gap from Kenny and Smokemon currently it's 6.5 seconds. Mm. So we have a good battle for six here between Nikki, Bloxham, and Clog. Ooh, Nikki going a little bit wide there. Bloxham oh, it's getting see, a good lost, run on Clog here. We lost the good guy, Greg. We've lost good guy, Greg. He's spun out again. Bloxham does collect sixth place here. Ooh, he's going to come back out on track in front of his teammate here. As he moves to the outside to make sure he's not in the way. Kenny's got to make up a second a lap on Smokemon and Helg to get his first win of the year. I think he can do it. Oh, Clogmonger lost it and drifted right in front of Nikki and unfortunately pushed him right into the wall. Still in eighth and ninth, unfortunately. That will bring them down the order. Nikki, unfortunately, collecting a five second penalty for collision on Clog, but you cannot deem that to be his fault, I imagine. And she's got some very hot tires, and he's fighting those right now. And Kenny hits a 17 2. Almost a whole second quicker than the previous fastest lap. He's on pace. This is, this is the. Um, uh, Lewis Hamilton versus um, versus Max Verstappen of two years ago in 2019, if you remember. As I believe with like, I think it was like 18 or so laps, the Mercedes pulled in a Hamilton as he was right behind uh, Verstappen. And then with about four laps left, Hamilton was able to make up that entire gap on those softs and overtook uh, Verstappen for an easy win. Kenny's absolutely slashing that gap right now. It's already a second and a half that he's that he's taken off. Both drivers are extremely depleted on battery power here. Oh, oh. On my screen, Smoke took a huge lunge, but well, he has now a good run on Helg here. Seems to be getting a little bit of server lag there. 
Oh, yeah. he does oh, take a look and climbed. he does get a spin out. Oh, watch out, Kenny. Kenny, watch out. Oh, he oh, goes he... around the outside. Kenny Ooh. stays. Oh, he, he keeps sticks it. it. He keeps it together. But now that pushes that so... gap to four and a half seconds. Smokemon dropping down into fourth place. Mahi Mafi taking up third place, which is now currently the last position on the podium. What do I have for Smokemon penalties here? Um, he has quite a bit, I believe. I only got him for one three second. So Kenny's job is now in front of him. 3.5 seconds for the win. As well as I only have Mahi with one three second. Could you just go quickly rip through that and check if that's correct here? Mahi and Smokemon. Kenny is still shrinking that gap as he's now within three seconds with four laps to go. He can see Helg just off into the distance there, coming through turn, coming into turn one right now. He's already taken a half a second off of that straight. Hell, good question. I've only got Helg with one three second penalty. Mahi does have two. He does have three two. Three second penalties. It looks like Kenny's going to have a real easy shot. Yeah, what do you got for Kenny's penalties? I only had him for his five second thing at the start of the race, which I believe he would have served by now. Yeah, Kenny would have served his penalty in the in the pit. Nikki picking up a penalty there. The gap now 1.7 heading into this last corner. Helg had an earlier penalty, but I, th I think he served that in the pit as well. We're just gonna play it off like he did. So Kent, he doesn't have the pace down the straights, but around the entire rest of the track, he's killing it. One point five now the gap. One point six. Helg is also looking for his first win of the year. I believe I mentioned that earlier, but it'd be huge for him to get all these points for the McLaren. With his, with his teammate has crashed out. Of course, it doesn't look like Smokemon is going to be able to make that time on Ma. He's just floating outside of a second. Ask Nick picking up another penalty. We have two laps to go. Here at the Hungarian Grand Prix, the gap between Kenny and Hell currently at 1.4 heading into this first corner. Now that's, it's heavy in front of him, I believe. So that, he could come massively into play here. Because if Hell gets a clean pass on its heavy, which seems to be a bot, then, and Kenny gets caught up just the slightest, that could completely end Kenny's chance for the podium here. Helg seemed to have found some kind of late race pace here. As, oh, as we see. Kenny's gonna get... Helg did pass cleanly. Kenny and does Kenny get does, held up. Kenny gets slowed up just slightly, and that gap seems to have stayed the same right before they met. So, no true harm done. But it could have been of a lot worse and better situation for Kenny, so you got to take it. Kenny needs to get between one second heading into this DRS zone. I don't think he's going to do it. No. Helg is just... Helg has kept these 27 lap old tires with some crazy pace. 
as Kenny has set some crazy laps on these softs, but Helg has just been able to hold him off these last couple of laps here. Kenny now has one lap to make up 1.2 seconds. Mahi seemed to have made a mistake somewhere and has now lost half a second on the smoke one. And smoke one getting DRS, but without any battery, he won't be able to take the best of lunges for that final podium position there. As both with three second time penalties, that third position is still very much up for grabs. Smokemon going around the outside, but kind of opts out of it. Not really a switchback opportunity there. He's going to have to pick a different spot for the overtake on Mahi here. For third place, going a little bit wide. Can he still try to decrease that gap? As now we're looking at the best, the bot of the best pawns here that's coming into field. It doesn't look like this is going to be the day. Unless Helg did not serve that three second time penalty. Kenny's just got to complete the lap and keep within three seconds just in case. Oh, his pawns get in the way. The best pawns does get in the way. Ask Nick picking up another penalty. We'll jump on with Helg Sorry, as he comes as over the right line. Now, Helg. We're going to see Kenny, and yes, and Kenny he did. Takes the win. Take, Kenny, Kenny gets takes his the win. first win. As the drought is over, Helg's he's three second penalty. Helg did not end up serving that penalty, and Mahi ended up collecting another penalty. Smolkon will get a back to back podium for his back to back races. Monster getting a huge jump into fifth place now, as Astin had astronomical penalties, throwing him down to seven. Unfortunately, Clog won't be able to make up any ground, but a nice eighth place finish for the Alfa Romeos going one and eight today, which is some solid points for them. Enrique coming over the line in the secondary mo uh, the, in the secondary Alfa Romeo, sorry, getting a double top 10 finish for the Alfa Romeos and a double top 10 finish for the Haas as well. Racing points not having their best day today, but collecting points they will in 11th and 13th respectively. And Nikki had a chance early on this race, but unfortunately, it all went to the wayside. As he did get fastest lap for a second there, but Kenny snatched that away instantly. As we so will. Brian was able to finish in fifth position, so the lead only only goes down by about 25 points. <laughs> Ooh, Mahi. So Kenny finally breaks his drought. We are definitely getting him on for a uh, an interview here. Kenny must be super happy with that. I love how everyone's celebrating Kenny's uh, win in the chat. And Brian's still asking what happened on that one. So, our results here, finally. Kenny taking his first win of the season, finally, after finishing all but one or two races on the podium, with Helg having to relinquish that spot due to time penalties sitting in second. Smokemon with his sec second podium finish of the year, finishing in third. Mahi fourth, Brian fifth after that first lap incident. Bloxham sixth, Astonix seventh, Clog eighth, Enrique ninth, Noganator tenth, Garris eleventh. Nikki 12th, Best Ponds 13th, Heavy 14th, Good Guy Greg 15th with Racing Jersey, Barry, Pork, Random Series and Cam all DNFing. So uh, what do you feel about the uh, ending to that race there, Crash? Crash, tell you there, bud. Crash was muted as Crash was Crash taking a sip of water. Muted. Jumping, Jesus. But, yes, uh, I'm assuming you're going to be getting the drivers on. Um, uh, anyone yes. from first, second, third, and fourth. If finishing, Kenny finally with his first win of the year. Everyone is very much happy.
at uh, that situation. An unreal start to the first lap there. As we had a lovely view at that as there was just a nice little sandwich there and a couple of cars just getting harshly right angled right into the wall there just past the pit lane exit. But just some lovely and fun driving today after everything settled down. We saw some, we saw a very exciting finish. Who ended up getting a uh, hardest charger there? That'd be Mahi. He finished fourth. Again. <laughs> Again. He actually set a time this time though, so you, you can't blame him too much. Yeah. We might leave Mahi out of this one, only because we've had him on quite a few times for hardest charger. And I think uh, we need a bit more time for Kenny. I agree. Yeah, we, we should give that guy as much time as he. We'll he get in Helg. Um, oh, we might we might need to get him on because Smokebond I don't believe has a mic you can type type in, but I, from what he's told me is that his mic isn't the best. Okay, we'll just um, I'm gonna get Kenny on. I'm gonna get Helg. Um, I want to ask. I actually want to get Bloxham in. I want to get his view on the first incident. Or. I want to get someone that was caught up in that first incident other than Kenny. Maybe Cam? What do we get? See if Cam? Cam can come in. Yeah. He is in the middle of an event. Hmm. Interesting. Bloxham would probably have a pretty solid view. I think C. I think C. Barry had a view from behind them all. Actually, Helg, you had a pretty good view of that turn one incident, did you not? Oh uh, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, okay, I did. Perfect. Okay, yeah, we'll that get. Was, we'll, that was, we'll, yeah, we we'll need to go very, through uh, that. Singapore 2017 vibes. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Yeah, and I think we're just. So, uh, I think uh, we might just start and see if anyone else joins us later. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just start with uh, the man of the moment at the moment, Kenny. Finally, first win of the season after being podium man all year. Finally, overcome your uh, your fear of heights and being able to take that top step on the podium. <laughs> How are we feeling today? Fear of heights. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm surprised I'm still in the race after lap one, and I don't know I I don't know what to feel right now. Like I'm yeah that shocked. was yeah that was a crazy incident. So from our understanding, Bloxham didn't get the best uh, run from the start line, and uh, Cam was able to take his inside. Brian was able to take his outside. I think Cam started squeezing a little bit, trying to get a better line through into into lap one but I think that pushed that pushed Bloxham into <coughs> Brian and then both Cam and Brian went over the front of Bloxham and sent them both into you Kenny on the inside just sitting sitting there on yeah. your own I saw like three cars coming at me out of a sudden and I thought I would retire after hitting the wall but all I yeah. had was a broken front wing surprisingly yeah uh, only <laughs> Cam only Cam was uh, the only, yeah only Cam had to retire after that, so... Yeah, that's unlucky, but... You know, I just went all the way to the back after that, and... was being patient all race, and people were pitting in front of me. And I just took yeah. advantage of the safety <coughs> car. The last, the oh, last yeah, safety car. Oh yeah, definitely. And then... Just able to have a clean race after. Not get any yeah. penalties. It was a great, great shot in the end. So you did have to serve... You did get a 5 second penalty during that. Yeah, with contact with Cam, since he retired, obviously. Yeah. So, did you serve that in your last pit stop? Uh, the first one, on the safety car. The first, car. during the safety car? Yeah, it allows you stop for some reason. Okay, so I guess, I guess that was alright in the end. So yeah, obviously a really great result. So, what, what were you thinking throughout, throughout the race? Did you, did you think you were going to be able to take the win in the end? No. Not even top five. I, I did not think I'd be up here. Like, this race is huge for the championship for me. 
And then, yeah, there, there was a point where you were you were leading the race at one point before your last pit stop onto the super softs, where Brian was also sitting in a uh, fifth. Uh, sorry, in uh, tenth, which would only have given him about twelve points compared to fifty for the win. So that gap would have been uh, lowered all the way down to sixteen points. Yeah, and I still got faster slap, right? Yeah, so. Um, yeah, it's another doing? five. It's another five points on top of what it was. But uh, Brian did end up finishing fifth, so the points were. I think if you factor in fastest lap, uh, you gained thirty points on Brian, which I believe takes the gap to twenty-four. If I'm not mistaken, Crash. I, was, I, I don't know how I managed to win that. I still don't know how. Yeah, we really we're trying to not get a penalty yeah, at the end. We we had thought that uh, Helg had uh, had gotten rid of all his penalties, and uh, you, you we saw that uh, you were having to come into some traffic heading into the fast, last couple laps. So we were, we were kind of interested to see if it would hold up one of you but not the other, or it handled both of you. So yeah, I mean, great result in the end. Obviously. Yeah, I was and hoping it, to keep it under three seconds the whole yeah. last stint for me. Yeah, but it was great. The, like, yeah, yeah, but with the lap cars, it was kind of hard since they were just slowing down in front of me, especially. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah, definitely. Still, it's amazing. Yeah, abs yeah. So absolutely great drive from you today, Kenny. Well, very, very well deserved, especially after the lap one incident. Very like stellar drive today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we had a. Uh, we had... We'll move on. We just got yeah, sent in a going. very solid uh, clip from C. Barry, and maybe we can try and find a way to get that into the uh, the, the Twitter uh, page there of that whole lap one incident. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> Kenny, you were just kind of minding your own business on the inside line there, and then uh, Cam and um, Bloxham kind of touched tires there, and Cam slowly diverted into the inside and pushed Bloxham with them. And then, which yeah. ended up clipping Mosser, and then all three of them like turned 90 degrees and then just wiped you out along with it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw it where Cam was like cooking on Blossom's wheel. Yeah. And then a second later, they just all came after me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just not today, Kenny. <laughs> but you fought <laughs> no, through adversary. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. Very congratulations you. towards you. So we'll move on to uh, Helg, who also had a really great race today. Uh, being able to pick up P2 in the end after um, that three second being added on to the back. How do you feel your your day went today? Oh, really, really good compared to all my other races. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. No, it went really well. Um, uh, second safety car, I decided to go on hards and uh, talking to my teammate and over kind of being my race engineer on whether or not to pit for sauce like Kenny at one point or uh, just head out head out and stay on stay on hearts to maintain my tire management was good so yeah for sure worked out pretty good yeah you did yeah, very well funny. to be able to make those last as long as you did and you I was making comments really about you showing some real solid pace um, as Kenny was on like I think at the time it was only four or five lap old softs and you were able to keep that gap at like one one and a half seconds for like three laps there yeah 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 no it uh it felt good uh i had my setup i put a lot of time on the track this week figure out the right setup what i was comfortable with throughout all tires conditions all that so yeah no i just put in a lot more lap times and felt really good so good to see it really showed today picking up your yeah. second podium of the year yeah yep absolutely yeah. Partic particularly after um, your teammate ended up losing it Hedy, just before uh, turn four. But uh, yeah, still able to bring home some uh, really solid uh, points for McLaren in the end. So congrats on the result. All right, thanks, guys. And congrats to Kenny. Finally getting it done. Ah, there you go. I think, I think everyone's, I think everyone's <laughs> very, uh, very uh, happy to see Kenny finally get that win. after. Absolutely. For sure, yeah, we're the podium finishes he's had. We're kind of getting a uh, Cam Zanvort vibes right now, as the yeah. whole chat is very congratulating Kenny on the win, as they were for Cam at Zanvort. 
Well, he deserves it. He's been one of the most consistent drivers on the podium, for sure. Just haven't been able to get the top spot. So Exactly that. Yeah. Good to so see. So the drought is see. broken. And the drought is most certainly broken. We'll bring it home with Mahi here. As, uh, is, is Mahi joining us? I believe it. Didn't he? I, I, I thought I saw him come in here. Did he not? No, I didn't see him. No. Oh. He's not in. Well... I guess we won't be bringing home yeah. with Mahi here then. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just wrap it up then. Sounds like a plan. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow as we got our tier two series going. As do, 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 they will be redoing that race in the USA, as unfortunately with the um, Codemasters uh, servers being down last week, it also put our servers down and unfortunately made it that where we couldn't finish our, or we couldn't do our scheduled race so that did get pushed back one uh week as the whole league will get pushed back as well so we will be going one week deeper as the break will that we were planning between season one and season two has now been wiped as that buffer zone is now being filled in so please tune into that tomorrow all of our videos will get posted into the youtube channel all the standings like i said and the schedules get posted into twitter as well so please give us a follow there um, thank you everyone for and tuning also, in tonight, and yeah, take and it away. And also check out the uh, highlight videos that Nodeganator has been putting together for us. Yes, those have been those have been doing pretty decently well on the YouTube channel actually. So please uh, keep putting in those views, as uh, it's very yeah. much appreciated for everyone that does. Yeah, if you're not in, if you're not that interested in uh, hanging around for the entire duration of our uh, commentary, yeah, definitely check check into the. Uh, the highlights that Noganade is putting together, he's put it together some really solid, uh, really solid videos so far. And yeah, if you don't like uh, Canadians or Aussies, just throw on the highlight video and put it on mute, and the entertainment is just <laughs> enough alone for you to just uh, to keep yourself entertained for that. Uh, what is 13, 10 to 15 minutes is what we try and keep them at. So yeah, if you don't want to stick around for a full hour, an hour and a half, then yeah, just follow up with that highlight video. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Once again, congratulations to Kenny. Stat, you have nothing, to, anything to say before I bring it home there, bud? Uh, yeah, so it was absolutely great race today. Great result in the end, I think, for the good of uh, Midwest F1 League. So, yeah, can't wait for next week to see some uh, other awesome results. Uh, I very much agree. Next week, today, we will be in Silverstone. So, uh, a very much of a fan favorite for a lot of people. Um, I being one of them, I truly do enjoy that track. I guess you kind of hear me say that a lot. <laughs> Every time yeah. I'm plugging a track, I'm like, oh, I do enjoy that track. I do enjoy I that do track. I do enjoy that track. Yeah. You just I enjoy the calendar. I Everything just except Monaco. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't like Brazil. Brazil has my number, man. Like, I'm... Brazil just like I don't know why it just it doesn't let me ever have a good race there but I think Brazil also has Pork's number yeah and it also had Monsters or it had Monsters Monster. number when he absolutely T-boned Tim Lee there that was some really exhilarating stuff but anywho before I get too distracted thank you everyone for showing up today and following the Midwest F1 League is very much appreciated we'll see you tomorrow night and hopefully we'll see you again next Wednesday Thursday and Friday for everything that we have to offer do, 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 do. And that is...